Hello. I just tried to put deodorant on and it broke off. Time to get a new one. <laughs> Hi, I'm Kat. Side note, have you guys seen My Life is Ava's new like music video? She's never done one before. It's called like literally My Life and I have it so stuck in my head right now. It's not even funny. Literally my life. <laughs> Um, today, normally when I do get ready with me's, I do them really fast, like I speed them up and I don't talk during them, but today I wanted to do some first impressions, I'm trying to get my palette without knocking everything down, <clears throat> some first impressions, and so I thought I would talk to you guys while I do it, you're welcome. <coughs> um, don't mind my terrifying eyebrows. So yeah, uh, <clears throat> okay, let's start with primer, shall we? First impression, hey, hey, Mirabella Prime, I got this from a box, it's Sherm, and I haven't tried it yet. It's a very skinny tube. I think it's just a basic clear, oh, silicone primer. It's a little like, oh, it's a little different. I'm gonna do the eyes first so that I don't get eye makeup all over my face makeup. Get out of here. So many things. I'm not doing anything crazy on the eyes. I wanted to um, use a new ColourPop shadow that I haven't used yet though. This is my um, Micah Beauty Cosmetics Eye Primer. Just the typical one. I usually I use this in like most of my Get Ready With Me videos. Fabulous. I like, I swear, I use this a lot and it just does not go down. Just does not deplete. Whatever, I guess I'm not complaining. So now I made my Beaches and Cream eyeshadow by Makeup Geek to put all over the primer I just laid down and as a transition color. So, oh, maybe I should put you guys, zoom you guys in. Give me a sec. All the way down. <laughs> wearing a white shirt today so I'm like terrified to get things on my white shirt. Do you guys have that fear? So I'm doing a super simple look with this eyeshadow because it's really um, bright. I'm just going to take Naked from the Urban Decay Naked palette, the original, in the crease. This is heavier for me in the crease than it is for most people I think. So it should be visible. Maybe not the best brush for this, whatever. Do what I want on my channel. Got it a little, a little crazy. Hey, what is what it is what it is. That's like the motto of today. Alright. Let's blend that out. Using um naked and buck from this palette are like my easiest ways to do a really, really fast eye look. Take the other side of the brush and do some buck. Just kind of focusing it on the outer corner. What area, what have you. Um, okay, most exciting thing for me this coming weekend. Uh, holy shit. Um, the Babadook is on Netflix, and your girl is gonna watch the shit out of it. I have wanted to see that since I like even heard of it like forever ago, and it didn't come out in America until like just recently, I think. And Netflix has it. I legit thought I was gonna like have to. I'm gonna dip my brush back into Bach just a little. Um, 
I legit thought I was gonna have to like pay to watch it, which I fucking never do because I pay for Netflix. Like, I don't give myself that much of a budget for movies. Um, because I live in a house that has cable. Um, but that is out and I'm like so fucking excited. It's not even funny. Like, literally my life. <laughs> that joke's gonna get so old. So, now that we have done the appropriate shading, I just like, when I'm gonna do a crazy color on the lid, I like to just get like some shading going on in the crease because I'm not gonna use anything other than, get over here, other than this color. This is Animal, Animal by ColourPop. It is a super shock pressed pigment, not technically an eyeshadow. If that is a problem for you, I just thought I would note it. It is really pretty very spring-like. I'm just gonna pop it on. Super pigmented, obviously, because it's from ColourPop. Beautiful. I like, I've applied these shadows with a brush before, but I prefer using my fingers, which is why I usually um, do them as like a pop of color and less as like a blending aspect. So pretty. I love it. But I do obviously need to blend a little bit, so. Take this brush, the same brush I've been using, and just give it a little a little blendy blend just around the edges so cute I love this color so spring maybe I want to get this silver and put that in Liberty my color pop it is a straight up silver I believe this one is a shadow actually a shadow I'm gonna try and use a brush my chair is stuck on something I'm gonna try and use a brush for this guy just to put it on the inner corner. It's really, um, these shadows are so unique in texture that you just have to kind of like really work with them. Cute. I like it. I kind of like the like mixture of the gold and the silver because the animal has some definite like gold reflex. kind of pretty. Nice. I like it. Very fun. That was my first time using animal. Animal. I like saying animal better. Um, I'm going to take a makeup wipe and get to the little bits of gonna say I'm gonna take the makeup wipe and get the little bits of animal out from under my eyes but that sounds kind of sick so and the silver can get a little crazy like up on there under the corner there I'm gonna go in just all the way in So now I'm gonna put uh, da, 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 the Physician's Formula Eye Booster Eyeliner on. I don't know if I'm gonna do something like a wing or whatnot. I like to start with this eye. I do like a little wing. When I was in high school, I used to do like a really like point and then like a sharp down. Maybe I'll do that. Okay. Now I'm 
to do for the other eye, which is always the problem. Totally different. Whatever, you can't want them all. See, like, I feel like some people, like, take their eyeliner so seriously. And, like, you know, I'm a fan of, like, perfect eyeliner or whatever. But my eyes have gone a little bit better, as you can see. But they're a little bit different shapes. But I'm going to the grocery store and no one's going to be like, Oh, my God. What's wrong with your eyeliners? They're not matching. I'm very excited to try this out. This is a first impression as well. This is the L'Oreal Voluminous butterfly mascara um i have another video up about my thoughts on the maybelline sensational mascara and i was not a fan so i hope that this one is better i don't think that i'm really a fan of maybelline mascaras in general let's see Ooh, not bad Definitely a lengthening mascara. I'm getting it on my eyeliner or my uh, my, my eyeshadow. Damn it! I can just add more. Yeah, that's what it is. The thing that I was really annoyed about the um, uh, don't like uh, about the other one, sensational lash sensational was that it was so wet that like, or so clumpy already on the wand. So like really annoying. This is the eye that always gives me trouble. mascara is like decent but honest to god like I like my L'Oreal Voluminous better. I hate switching mascaras. I actually had better luck with that eye than with this eye. What does that say? What does it mean? This eye is like oh yeah like I took some time to do my makeup. This whole eye in general is like oh, I fucking did it in three seconds. Whoops, that's what makeup wipes are for. And extra eyeshadow. I should probably get that with a Q-tip. Very lightly try to erase that. Very nice. It can always be fixed. <sighs> All right, that's the eyes. I am not going to do the brows until I'm done. I have a BB cream that I'm very excited to use today. I have never tried an American BB cream. Whoa, things are falling. I have never tried an American BB cream, or a BB cream in general, because typically they are very dark and don't come in, they don't come in a lot of colors, and usually the colors that they do come in are very dark. So, I'm excited to try this one. This is from Asia. Uh, it's Korean, it's Korean. This is the Misha Perfect Cover BB Cream. This is number 13, which is the lightest color they offer. Looks like this. This is the 50 milliliter bottle. I paid $15.95 for it off of BeautyNet, Korea. You can actually get it cheaper on Amazon though. Who would have thought? It's a fucking amazing whatever it's like ten dollars with free shipping so yeah okay i got screwed whatever all right it comes with a little pump even though it's a tube i love it and i'm just gonna pump out some on my hand oh that was a large pump laura and <laughs> oh wow okay apply it to my face oh it's very thick which I think is probably good in terms of BB cream. I am able to 
use it though, even uh, the big pump that I had. But uh, I use my old school. So let's, I'm ready. Let's blend it out, see what kind of, see what coverage we're working with here. I don't know if you're supposed to use a brush with BB cream. Get off of me, brush hair. Or no, it's my real hair. Sorry, brush, I didn't mean to insult you. So now that I did that, let me try and use my hand with the other side, and maybe that will give me more coverage. I hate using my hands. Using my hands. Um, it might have given me a little bit more coverage. This is also like my less problem side, so I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Let me do a little tiny. Let's here. I've got some on the pump. Let's see how how much we can build it up from my little scar there. It does look like a decent color. It's a, if anything, it's a little yellow. I am pink toned for sure, but this looks decent. This is definitely better than like going with no makeup for me. So, you know, I'm I'm. It's not a foundation for sure. I'm going to use my Maybelline Fit Me concealer and Fair, which is 15. 10 is the lightest shade, but it's not. 15 is where it's at get it so I added concealer there I did the NYX the purple one the HD concealer in purple and then the fit me concealer that's what I've been doing for my eyes lately and I think um, I've been wearing just the fit me concealer like cute really cute I've been wearing just the Fit Me Concealer. It looks a little dark, but like, um, I've been wearing just that on like my Hey I'm Lazy as a Motherfucker days. Um, and I haven't been hating it. I haven't been feeling like it's too dark in pictures or in video. So hopefully in real life I don't look hilarious. Okay. Let us continue. I'm not someone who like has to have a full coverage, so I'm not like super disappointed with that BB cream. It's my first one ever. I probably had higher coverage expectations for it than I should have, but you know, it is what it is. Like I said, that's the theme of the day. Make sure it's blended down my throat. Not weird that we blend makeup onto our throats. Like, I don't want anyone to know that I have throat. I don't have a throat. I don't want anyone to know that I have a throat. I'm gonna just take my powder brush really quick, or my elf brush, my foundation brush. It's technically a powder brush, but I use it for foundation. And just run that down. And I think I'm a little darker than that one. Whatever. So and then I would take, so that's nice, that's not bad. It would take, sometimes it's nice to just not wear foundation. I think that this, uh, this is the e.l.f. tone correcting powder and the e.l.f. powder brush. I think the clincher for me with that product will be, um, if it feels less like it's making me break out during the day. I feel like I might be looking like a little cakey, but what else? Maybe I applied way too much. Yeah, pump is way too much. I don't know. Who does know? Nobody. This is another kind of first impression. First time wearing it with makeup. This is the Sweet Cotton uh, Powder in Sebum Clear Powder Mist. Powder in Mist by Holy Goliga. Um, and I think it's a makeup finishing spray. It doesn't say in English, though. So. It 
it's so weird. It is like a tiny little bit white. It's got like tiny little white granules in it. Very cute. Okay, I'm not gonna contour anything today because let's be honest, I'm fucking lazy. Wait for it to dry. Going to use the balm cheek products today. I didn't realize I had picked two. Going to use the balm down boy blush, just a pink. I think I got this off Hope Look or something. And the Mary Luminizer, which is like a golden kind of idea, nonsense, whatnot. Use a, this blush is pretty pigmented, so I like to use it with a stippling brush. This is the Mary Luminizer. It's a little bit gold. I usually use a white. Almost! Woo! That is a highlight. Get it. Woo! Alright. We are now doing speed makeup because I'm being rushed to go to the store. 30 minutes ago. I was the one rushing. And no one wanted to go. Sometimes my brows just like, I can't be tamed. I can't even like brows fucking knock it off. You can be. You're not Britney Spears brows. You're not. All right. Leap a stick. I'm using Mirage by NYX. It's the high voltage lipstick. It's a nude. I'm ready. So that is the finished look. I zoom in just a mite. Thanks for joining me with my little get ready with me first impressions nonsense. I put out videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Comment down below. Tell me what your favorite product is that I used in here. Like the video if you like it and subscribe if you want to see videos similar to this. I would love to have you guys on my channel. I will see you guys later. Bye.